All right, suppose you have a polynomial. Um, you got this polynomial function, y equals x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 30. That is a polynomial um, made up of a bunch of monomials. Uh, those are terms where the variable is raised to some power that's um, a whole number, and it's positive or 0. So x to the third, x to the fourth, x to the fifth, something like that x to the zero, but no, you know, not like x to the negative third or x to the one half or anything like that. It's a polynomial, and the question is, is, for example, x plus six a factor of this polynomial? Is this linear form um, a factor? You know, this is, uh, this, the polynomial itself is not linear. It's, um, it's, it does not form a straight line. It's a curve that looks like this in this case, um, but it's made up of factors that are linear. You know, if you're to graph them, it'd be a straight line. So the question is: Is this is x plus six a factor, or is x plus five a factor? Now, why would you need to know that? Um, well, you're finding the roots of the polynomial, and maybe maybe you're not allowed to graph the polynomial and look and see where the roots are. Maybe uh, you graphed it, and then someone came in and scribbled over the x-axis and you can't really tell and so you think it might be five might be six or negative five negative six um, okay but let's face it you're gonna you're gonna have exercises where you're just asked if some linear form is a factor of a polynomial and you're not gonna be allowed to graph it or you're not gonna have access to a graphic calculator or whatever so here's how to how, here's how to figure it out um so x plus six okay we just kind of review here um, when you factor a polynomial, let's say you are able to factor it by hand, you get it down to a bunch of factors like this, like x, you know, plus six, x minus three, whatever, and you set it all equal to zero, and then you set each one of those equal to zero uh, to find where the roots are. So you could say x plus six equals zero, so um, x would therefore be negative six. There would be a root at negative six. Um, so, really what we're doing is we're finding, th the question is x plus 6 a factor of this polynomial? Is that, that's the same thing as saying, is x equals negative 6 a root or a zero of the factor, right? Uh, okay. So, what we can do is we can um, use synthetic division to figure out if that's true. So, let's look at just factors in general. Um, just let's pick a simple number, 32. And so this is a kind of a, an analogous situation. The question is, is 8 a factor of 32? Um, in other words, can I multiply 8 by some uh, whole number and get 32 without you know, some kind of remainder? Um, well, w you know, to test that, what you would do is just divide 32 by 8. Um, 8 goes into 32 four times, four times eight is 32, 32 minus 32, well look, there's no remainder there. So you you divided 32 by what you thought might be a factor, and since you got no remainder, it's confirmed, it is a factor. So there's a similar, it's a similar thing here with, um, with polynomials. Instead of 32, uh, we've got this polynomial. And instead of eight, we've got this factor. So we're going to divide this polynomial by this factor, and we'll do that with the method of synthetic division because it's awesome and it's fast and it's it's logical. Um, so uh, so x plus six being a factor is the same thing as saying that x equals negative six is a root. So I, I'm actually going to divide that polynomial, uh, or I'm going to use uh, negative six for the synthetic division. That's saying x plus 6 is a factor. Um, and then I'm going to write the coefficients of the terms in my polynomial. So it's important that you line up the, um, make sure your polynomial is in order of, of descending degree. So uh, here the highest degree is x to the third and it's the one that comes first, so that's good. So the, the term with x to the third comes before the term with x squared before the term uh, x to the first, before the constant term, or x to zero. So make sure you're, you're in descending order like that. 
um, which mine is um, here, and then write the coefficient. So the coefficient there is is one. Here we have four. Uh, here we have negative eleven, and then negative thirty is that last coefficient. So let's do some synthetic division. First thing you do is you just pull this first coefficient down, okay, and then you begin. So one times negative six is negative six. Add um, the column four plus negative six is negative two. No, negative two times negative six is twelve. Negative eleven plus twelve is one. One times negative six is negative six. Negative thirty plus negative six is negative thirty six. This last number is the remainder. My remainder is not zero, so uh, therefore a negative six is not a root, therefore x plus six is not uh, a linear, uh, one of the linear factors of this polynomial. You get a remainder. If you get a remainder of zero, uh, you, you would be good. So let's try five, x plus five. Let's see if that is a linear factor. Um, so that would be saying that the root is, is negative five. So x plus five equals zero. Uh, solve for x, minus five, minus five. x equals negative five. Um, so let's try, let's try to divide this thing by the factor x plus five. So we'll we'll use the number negative five. We've got the same coefficients dividing the same polynomial. Step one, bring this guy down. Um, okay, one times negative five is negative five. Four plus negative five is negative one. Negative one times negative five is five. Negative eleven plus five is negative six. Negative six times negative five is thirty. Negative 30 plus 30 is 0. That's that last number there. The, so the remainder of that division is 0. So yes, x plus two, 6 is a factor. It is one of the linear factors. And that means x equals negative 6 is that root that's right there. That's, that's negative 6. So it crosses the x-axis at, at negative 6. Uh, so yeah, synthetic division is pretty simple. It's really, it's really nice. Um, it makes things a lot easier than they could otherwise be. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a quick way to check whether a linear form uh, like this is a factor of a polynomial.